What's up y'all, it's Timmy. Today we are going to build a slat bed for the camper. That's right, a pull out bed. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. There's a lot of different ways on the internet, but this is going to be a little different way than all those. So if you like it, you can try it yourself. So here we go. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. So you guys can visualize what is going on. If you're sitting on this side of the camper and looking across, this is what you're gonna see. So there's going to be this two by four cedar lip. It goes straight across down here. It's going to have a two by four leg on this side. That leg is going to extend down and rest in the floor to support the bed. On this end, um, I cannot do a leg because if I do a leg, I won't be able to lift up my floor storage right there. So I'm going to mount this two by four to the wall right there. So when you slide out the slat bed, it rests on top of that wall support that's on the wall. We're gonna measure this distance here and cut these slats and get those attached first. So it looks like about 22, 22 and 22. Measure that again, 22. 22, 22, always measure twice. All right. Okay. Let's uh, put these slats down, get them lined up where I want and get them screwed into place. So let's just kind of just lay them out really quick and then Measure what I'm working with, right? I think this might be just enough. Yeah! <laughs> cool. There you go. So this bed is exactly six feet long. There's five eight foot long one by three pieces that I bought. So I bought just five eight foot long boards and it was just enough to do a six foot long bed. So anyway, these slats are all gonna come out like that and go back in. Next step, let's get these perfectly spaced evenly. Let's bring you guys a little closer so you can see what's going on. So, my first board will sit about right there, kind of up close to the wall. So when this first slat comes out, it'll rest on this two by four lip that's gonna sit right there. So, I marked where the edge of the first board goes. Now I'm gonna come over with one inch spacing and make my next mark right there. Now I set my next slat down. This next slat is two and a half inches wide. We know that now, but I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. Now from this, the edge of this slat, we're gonna give another one inch space. So we'll go ahead and mark that. I'll go ahead and set the board there on that one inch mark just to see what the spacing looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty good still. So. Go ahead and mark that. And come over another inch. And here, set my board. Mark the other side of it. Come over another inch. Set my board. Come to the other side and mark it. Come over another inch. Just keep on doing that all the way down and that will space everything appropriately. Obviously you want everything to be pretty square. So my walls are square, so I'm gonna use this first one as my square to line up the rest of it. That way everything slides. I've never done this before, but from what I've seen, when people make these slat beds, they put the slats way too close together, like almost no clearance, like they're almost touching each other. Just a little bit of room, and then when you go to slide them in, the wood eventually just warps or changes or whatever, and then you can't push your bed in. It's like sticking and binding. So I'm gonna put a good solid inch in between. So there's no binding, it just goes in and out nice and easy. 
Got all my slats spaced out one inch, so I'm just marking where to put them. That way there's no way I'll mess it up. So now that I've marked the front, I need to install this first piece against the wall, get everything squared up, and then mark the back, just like I marked the front. So I know for a fact that my front wall of the camper is square because I built it that way. So I'm going to line up my first slat on my mark that we had set before. I'm going to measure how far that is off the wall, which is exactly half an inch. Perfect. So I'm going to come to the back of the slat, measure half an inch. It's perfect. Make sure the front is still lined up. It still is, so we are good to mark that. And that is where the slat will rest in the back. Now the same procedure, you're gonna come one inch over and make a mark. Place your slat down and mark that on both sides. And just that same procedure, just one inch spacing in between. Mark both sides of the slat. One inch spacing in between. And yeah, continue that all the way down. When you finish, mark the X so you know where to put your slat. And everything should be square. Knock on wood. And if it's not square, you have a one inch gap to play with so it doesn't stick when you try to slide it in. So that's my theory, let's test it. I got the one inch screws. I only need about 80 of them, so it should be good. I've got a couple little felt pads so the two by four can slide on them on the floor. First thing we're gonna do is install the stationary slats onto my little plywood folding bed. All these are nice and squared up. The stationary slats. I can still lift up my couch as normal for storage underneath. The next thing we're gonna do is take the two by four piece that is the frame and get that cut to size. So our next step, we get to build the actual frame of the bed. We'll get our two by four piece of cedar already cut. So now I'm going to measure how big to cut my support board. The frame will sit on. Now we have the little cedar support board cut for the wall over here. To figure out how tall I need to make the leg that supports this cross beam, I need to pull out some slats, some of the moving slats, lift my cross beam until it hits the slats and even slightly pushes up on them. Let's say 17 and a half to make it sit right. So now we're going to attach the leg that we just cut to the two by four beam, like so. These are all pre-drilled, all these holes. Get a bracket on this side, can do a bracket on this other side, and probably a bracket on this front side too. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's as solid as it's gonna get for the support leg. So I've got a bracket on all three sides, super strong. Let's get this beam up in here. Instead of using these one inch screws, like I was using to secure the slats to this stationary plywood sheet, I'm going to use one and three quarters. So they're a little bit longer. They'll actually bite in through this stuff. So here we go. And just check it, looking good. Let's uh, stick with that. Looking good, so as you can see, now this will slide along on that to support it, and it has a leg on the other side to support it. So the rail is complete, so now it's time to secure the slats. So let's do that, they're already pre-drilled, so let's uh, get her done. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your big moving framework, push it all the way up against to where it's going to store. Make sure it's pushed up well. And then you're going to go over and look at where you marked your moving slats. You're going to place your moving slat on that line in the front and back, like so. Make sure it's lined up and flush with the edge of your framework and go ahead and set those screws. Also, I decided to use washers. 
So slats are usually pine, which is really soft, and uh, screws will sink a little too far. So if you use a little washer, it'll keep it from sinking through the slat too much. So I'll get a screw washer and sink it in. So once again, you're going to make sure your rail, your frame support is all the way pushed up where it needs to be. Take your moving slat, line it up on what you've marked already on your X's in the front and the back. Make sure your moving slat is flush with your frame and go ahead and screw it down into place. And remember, I already pre-drilled these holes. Now we're gonna take some uh, little scotch fill pads and put them on the bottom of the support. Looks like so. So when you're finished, this is how it looks. And if you notice, I made nice big gaps so nothing will bind. It can move all over the place and you can push it in and out easy. So there you go. And then when I need to lift everything to access my sheets, I can still lift that. All right, moment of truth. Let's test it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, super cozy. So now the entire camper is a giant bed. So that's a wrap y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. That helps support the channel and pay for some diesel and keeps me rolling and keeps you entertained. So uh, thank you and we'll see you on the next adventure. Peace y'all.